This is how I help students improve their technique if they're level four, which is an intermediate swimmer. You can do this for any stroke, but today I'm gonna to use freestyle as an example. I stay outside of the pool when I'm teaching these students because it's easier for me to see swim technique when I have an aerial view. It's also easier for me to demonstrate strokes and talk at the same time if I'm outside the pool. I spend 10 minutes each lesson working on a single stroke and I always start that 10 minutes having the child swim the width of the pool. Today we're gonna work on a stroke called freestyle. What's the name of the stroke we're working on today? Freestyle. Start right here where the turtle toy is and I want you to swim freestyle to where the star toy is. Breathing on the side, every time your breathing arm comes up. Go ahead. Once the student reaches the other side, you're gonna pick one thing for the student to work on. Okay, Owen, when you swim back, I want you to try to keep your ear in the water. So every time you turn your head to the side, you're gonna keep that ear in the water to breathe. Does that make sense? The students somewhat did what you asked, compliment them on what they did, and encourage them to do it some more. All right, Owen, you did a better job keeping that ear in the water. I'd say you had your ear about 50% in the water. This time, when you swim to the star, I want you to try to keep that ear 100% in the water. You did a really good job keeping your ear in the water at the very end. This time, try to keep your ear in the water the whole time. And you can also turn your head to the side to breathe. So your mouth is coming out, but your ear is staying in. Once the student has mastered that first skill, compliment the student on mastering it and give the student a new skill to work on using phrasing like this. Oh, and that was such a good job keeping your ear in the water when you breathe. This time, I want you to keep your ear in the water and keep your fingers together when you swim. Sometimes you're going to ask a student to do something and they're just not going to do it. So the first step when they do that is to do this. Owen, what was it asking you to focus on? Um, I want you to focus on keeping your fingers together. What am I asking you to focus on? Keeping my fingers together. Great, go ahead and do that. So having them repeat what you said definitely reinforces them and helps them get them to do it. Other times, they remember what I asked them to do, they just didn't actually do it. So in those cases, I just have them do it again. Sometimes students didn't do what I asked because they just don't understand what I'm asking. So I go ahead and lay on the pool deck and re-explain what I'm looking for and demonstrate what I want them to do. A good game to play is to have them start the shallow end and swim to the deep end, but if they do it wrong, you're going to tap them with a noodle. Alright Owen, remember we're talking about keeping your fingers together when you swim. So you're going to start here, swim along the edge so I can tap you with the noodle because anytime I see you with your fingers apart, I'm going to tap you and you have to start over. Alright, but your goal is to make it all the way to that diving board. Ready, set, go. I have students swim the width of the pool until they've somewhat mastered the stroke and then they get the opportunity to swim the length of the pool, which does motivate them to do what I'm asking them to do. Oh, and that was such a good job swimming freestyle. You're ready to swim the long ways now. So go ahead and start at the shallow end and you're going to swim all the way to the deep end. I work on this stroke for about 10 minutes and if they still haven't mastered it, it's fine. We'll just go on to the next stroke and then in the next lesson, We'll circle back to this first stroke we were working on. I'm Marcy, owner of Regal Swim, and that is how I improve swim technique for my intermediate students. Make sure to like this video if you found it helpful.